sat here in the hotel lobby speaking to Liam Kirk on Ice Hockey UK TV in association with Intermotor. Liam, first of all, let's talk about the tournament. How do you feel two games in? Two contrasting defeats, really, wasn't there? Yeah, I mean, um, we knew coming to this tournament, you know, every team is going to be a challenge and um, you know, playing the top two nations first is always going to be difficult, but uh, it's what we wanted and I think um, uh, the first game against Canada, we did what we needed to do and played a hard game and there was a couple lapses and breakdowns, but we, we limited them and in Finland, I think it was uh, obviously a little bit of fatigue and just not being ready, I guess, and a few more mistakes and obviously top teams like that will uh, make it count. So there's a lot to learn from and a lot of positives as well, so um, we'll build on it as the tournament goes on. Well, let's focus on the positive. Canada, you only lost 4-2. They're the best team in the world. You were beating them 1-0 at one stage with your great goal. And they also disallowed one. Um, but also, you know, the fact that you pulled the goalie late on, you were close with one of the best teams in the world. How much progress do you think that takes from, example, 2019 when you were a lot further away from them? Yeah, I think it's it's huge, like you said. Going from an 8-0 loss in 2019 against Canada to 4-2 is, is a big jump. So, yeah, I think it, it shows how far we've come. And uh, I think that's a credit to, to all the boys that are here now and the coaching staff and uh, in, you know, putting more belief in us and, uh, and us having that belief as, as well. As well. Um, you get that from obviously playing and, and building confidence at this level. So uh, the fact that we've um, you know, managed to keep that game as tight as we did, uh, it's a huge achievement. I think at other tournaments at the top level, especially if you think back to 2019, a lot of focus was on the, the France game. You know, that's the game you're aiming for. I know we still need to look down the road to know that there'll be the games you've got to win. But is there also this feeling now that you can and should be looking to take points off other teams? Yeah, definitely. I think um, as well, uh, a few of us were watching the, the Austria-Switzerland game last night. And obviously, um, you know, in Finland, uh, the, the guys were playing Austria for a relegation game. And we saw how close Austria came to having a regulation win against a, a team like Switzerland. So you've got to be ready every night. I, mean, I think it was a bit of a wake-up call. And I think we've all realised within ourselves that, that you know, we want to go into every game with a mindset that we want to win and, uh, and see what happens instead of just um, enjoying it or, you know, waiting for, for the games uh, later on in the tournament. I think we want to go into every game now with a mindset that uh, we wanted to get something out of it. How much have you enjoyed your, your World Championship journey with Great Britain? Of course, you first played for GB in that promotion in Hungary. You were there in the top flight when we stayed up in Slovakia. And then the breakthrough year in the pandemic, I guess. How much have you enjoyed that, that rise with GB? Yeah, it's, um, I was very fortunate enough to, to come in at, at, at a real great time. Um, you know, they went um, the promotion in Belfast and then... Um, you know, being a young guy going into that tournament in Hungary, I was just kind of taking it all in. And the mindset then was they wanted to avoid relegation. So to go in and, and to keep winning games and to be a part of that that gold medal and promotion to the top flight was something truly special. And yeah, and just to see where we've come um, from uh, avoiding relegation in France to truly believing that we belong at, the, at this pool and you know having a big tournament in Latvia and um, the games we won there and uh, you know, some overtimes and even in Finland I, you know, I wasn't there but watching on TV you could see how well the boys played and how, how a couple games if we got the bouncers could have gone the other way for them so yeah it's awesome to, to be a part of this group and to, to see how far we've come. I know this team always talk about team first and, and you're a close-knit group, but how much did it mean to you to be that leading goal scorer in that one in the pandemic year when you played behind closed doors? Uh, yeah, it's a weird one. Obviously, I, I knew going into that tournament that it, it was going to be um, not make or break, but a, a big moment for me in, in which way my career was going to go. And um, I knew uh, I just wanted to play the best hockey possible. Um, I definitely didn't go in thinking I was going to be a top goal scorer or even score more than one or two goals. But um, yeah, I just wanted to, to, to play hard and do what I could to help the team. Obviously, there was no pressure of relegation as well at that tournament, which might have helped. But um, yeah, it was, it was a nice feeling and one that I didn't expect. Talking about the attention as well, moving on to that, because of the fact that you've played across Europe at top levels, the NHL connection. You know, I know more than anyone as your media manager that you get most requests. I mean, at the moment, I think we've topped up about 15, 16 so far. Does that phase you or do you just understand that it comes with what you're doing on the ice and that naturally will mean the interest is there off it? Yeah, I guess it, it, it's just part of it, right? It's just um, you know, how it goes. I was joking with Benny the other day because Benny said that after his goal, he's had a few media requests, and I just uh, I just told him I said one day no one's going to want to listen to what you got to say, so just enjoy it. Yeah, I mean, it's just literally part of the process, and um, yeah, it's yeah, it's what it is. Looking further down the line, we've got Cheshire, and obviously you played here last season. We've seen what it's 
like here in the arena. Just give us a flavour what it's going to be like for, for GB to play Czechia down the line. Yeah, it's going to be loud. It's going to be loud, um, a hard, um, physical, fast game. I Czech play play a real good style of hockey, real fast, real physical, and, and the fans are so passionate. Um, I think everyone's seen it firsthand if they went and watched that first game against Finland uh, that the Czechs played. It's uh, it's incredible. You know the support they show for their club teams and the national team it is uh, it's really something. Um, Cool. Uh, I think everyone should go go witness themselves firsthand. So yeah, it's going to be loud, but it's going to be um, it's going to be a fun experience. And like I said, um, we're building throughout this tournament, so um, hopefully we can go and play a good game. And just finally, I think it's been rumoured for a while, but finally your move to the DEL was confirmed. Just what have you chosen there, and, and how excited are you to test yourself in another of the best leagues in the world? Yeah, there's. Um multiple um, reasons for, for that move um, obviously they have um, uh, first and foremost it's a, you know it's a top organization one of the best in Europe I believe um, the, the facilities the, the coaching um, the way they run the owners um, obviously the connection with Danny there the, the strength and conditioning coach is a huge one for me um, lifestyle city there's so much that goes towards it um, but you know obviously speaking to, to the coaching staff and the role they see me in and and um, the way they think they can help help me take my game to the next level is a, a big, uh, you know, probably one of the biggest um, you know, factors in that decision. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting there. It's going to be um, really exciting and just hoping we can get the Steelers in the CHL draw. Yeah, that would be great. Brilliant. Thanks for joining us. Thanks.